Hello and welcome to PE with Mr. D. Is energy unlimited? This is Ashpreneur Pekka Alto, and he holds the record for running 5,000 kilometers in 40 days and 9 hours. How amazing is that? Today we're going to be looking at the three energy systems to find out how this is possible. Okay, so our learning intention is to explain the three energy systems. By the end of this video, you'll be able to identify the scientific word for energy, list the three energy systems, identify how long each system lasts, and provide an example of activities for each system. So what will you need? Just a pen and a paper. Pause the video now and go grab that. Firstly, let's define our terms. What is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. What are systems? Systems are a set of connected things. Our body needs energy for everything, from running, lifting, playing sport, walking, eating, thinking, and talking. But where does this energy come from? The answer is food. As you can see here, all the food that we consume, okay, that is turned into energy, ATP. We'll have a bit of a look at that in a sec. Other things that it's turned into, chemical waste, carbon dioxide, water, and heat. Today, we're gonna to focus on the energy. So what is energy? When we're talking about energy of the body, it's called adenosine triphosphate. Try saying that one. I know it's a bit of a mouthful. Go. Nice work. For short, we call it ATP. So the three energy systems, they all help produce this ATP, the body's energy. We have number one, the ATP PC system. The second is our lactic acid system. And the third is our aerobic system. Let's have a deeper look at all of these. Number one, our ATP PC system. This is used for short, powerful bursts of exercise, last less than 10 seconds. It's used in high intensity activities. An example would be a 100 meter sprint. Number two, the lactic acid system. This is used for medium length exercise that causes that burning feeling in your legs or arms. This is again for high or medium intensity, lasts for about 30 seconds up to three minutes. Examples would be weightlifting, circuit training, and the 400 meter race. And the third and final system is our aerobic system. This is used for long distance exercise. It lasts for three minutes up to an indefinite amount of time. This is for lower intensity exercise. And examples would be marathon, riding, or swimming. So why is the aerobic system unlimited? It uses oxygen. Our ATP PC system and our lactic acid, they don't use oxygen. That's why the energy is available quick and they run out after a few minutes. But our aerobic system uses oxygen, so it takes a bit longer to warm up. So theoretically, with fuel, that's our food, and no injuries, you could ride or run or swim forever. Okay, to summarize how the energy systems work together, we have a little diagram here. On this axis, the one going up, that's our intensity. Okay, from zero to 100% effort. On this axis, we have our time, okay, 10 seconds upwards. As we can see, our immediate energy system, our ATP PC system, that is done after about 10 seconds. Then, our lactic acid system takes over from about 30 seconds down to about three minutes. And then we can see our long-term energy system that starts quite slowly, takes a bit of time to warm up, but then it takes over and it lasts a long, long time, producing energy for our body. Alrighty, well done, you've made it. It is time to see how much you've learnt. We'll do this by reviewing our success criteria. Our first success criteria, can you identify the scientific name for energy? I've given you a hint, ATP. Pause the video, see if you can fill in the blanks. Did you get it? Adenosine triphosphate. Our second success criteria, can you list the three energy systems? On your page, write one, two, and three, and see if you can write them down. Go. How did you go? Number one, we have our ATP PC system. Number two, our lactic acid system. And number three, our aerobic system. Our third success criteria, can you identify how long each of these systems lasts? Write the text below and fill in the blanks. Okay, our ATP PC system, that lasts less than 10 seconds. Our lactic acid system, that goes from about 30 seconds to three minutes. And our aerobic system, three minutes and up. Our fourth and final success criteria, can you provide one example of a sport or exercises that uses each system? Write the text below and give one example. How did you go? With our ATP PC system, a 100 meter sprint is a good example. Number two, our lactic acid, weightlifting or the 400 meter sprint. Three, our aerobic system, 
Examples would be a marathon, riding, or swimming. So, are you able to explain the three energy systems? Give yourself a big high five if you can. If not, watch this video again and have another go. Thanks very much for watching PE with Mr. D. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Would you like to learn about another topic? Comment below. Thanks, everyone.